that is, gradually correct the malfunctioning of the mind, that is, emotional mechanisms, desires, habits, fears, uh, wrong beliefs, misinterpretations, to, to observe these, to analyze them, and to correct them. Uh, the way this uh, is developed is through meditation, and also through self-observation and self-analysis. The third body, as we go down in density, is called the mano maya kosha. Mano, manas means mind. And so this is the common mind, okay? Including the conscious and the subconscious. And this is the mind who is, whose function is to be a window between the soul and the outside world. It's the mind that allows us to function on a daily level, to earn our living, to communicate with people. But it's a mind which is very much programmed. It's the mind which is programmed by society. And it has many false programmings. It's a mind which fears, which has many doubts about ourselves, about our security, about our self-worth, uh, and a mind which has many emotional mechanisms which create a, a negative reality for us and for people around us. And so the purpose of the higher mind is to observe this mind and to make it a, a useful instrument. You see, the whole thing is hierarchy. All parts of our being are necessary. The thing is that the, the, one, one, the hierarchy should be correct. That is, the lower mind should not be covering the higher mind. And the body should not be telling the mind what to do. You understand what I mean? The mind, the mind should be telling the body what to do. And the higher mind should be telling the lower mind what to do. So we are in reverse gear. <laughs> Whatever our body wants, our mind follows. And the, the higher intellect is virtually asleep. Okay, so this is the mind which is interested in survival, in being able to survive in this world physically and emotionally. That is, to have, uh, when I mean survive, I mean also to survive in terms of our self-worth. Okay, so it's constantly seeking security, self-worth, pleasure, affirmation in the world. The fourth body is called the prana maya kosha. You remember the word prana means energy or bioenergy. So this is the bioenergy body, which is a very important body. Of course, all bodies are equally important, but this one is important because it is the basis on which the others are connected and work. That is, it is the connecting link between the physical body and the mind and the soul. Uh, when we eat in a certain way, it's through the, this disturbs the energy body, and then the energy body disturbs the mind. When we think in a certain way, negatively, this disturbs the energy body, and that disturbs then the physical body. So our thoughts are transferred to the physical body through the energy body, and that's how we create psychosomatic illness. And our ways of eating and walking and standing and sitting and our lack of exercise and our lack of breathing, or the opposite, proper eating and proper exercise and proper breathing, are transferred through the energy body to the mind. So this is a very important body, and this is why so much importance has been given to this body in yoga and in eating properly, exercising, breathing properly, meditating daily, so that the energy body is in a good state. That allows both the physical body and the mind to be in a positive and healthy state. So all of our functions, that is, uh, everything that we do from thinking to walking to gardening to making love to singing, everything that we do is a function of this energy. It's like there is one energy in this electricity in these walls, and it can be expressed as light, as sound, 
as image, as air, as heat, as cold. That is, the same energy, through a different vehicle of expression, be, shows itself in a different way. So this one bioenergy. surrounded by other energy vehicles and we are constantly exchanging either exchanging consciously or unconsciously uh, we all you have heard of the various games for energy in the celestine prophecy of playing the interrogator or the intimidator or the aloof or the victim and these are unconscious ways of trying to get energy but then there are also conscious ways, such as loving, appreciating, uh, praying, meditating. And so we can, we can either try to fill ourselves at our energy level unconsciously by playing games, or consciously in various ways. And the last body is the body that we all know. It's called the Ana Maya Kosha. Ana means rice. <laughs> in Sanskrit. So it's the body made of rice, at least in India. <laughs> And so it's the physical body, which is comprised, first of all, of the two master systems, the nervous system and the endocrine system, which are controlled by the pituitary and the hypothalamus. And then from these two systems, all other systems. Most important of all, of course, is the immune system. And then the circulatory, the digestive, the assimilative, the skeleton, the muscles, all of these are controlled by the nervous system and the endocrine system. So you see, we have a hierarchy here. We have this Satchitananda, this divine essence, which in its attempt to express itself on a physical level, needs to pass through these five bodies, which you can see now on the image that you have on the paper. Hmm? Uh, not the circular one, but the other one, okay? And you have the spirit, which has to pass through, if you like, five lenses here. We have the causal body. We have the higher intellect. This aperture here is the aperture between death and life, or the aperture between the material and the spiritual worlds. And on the other hand side, we have the mind, the common mind, the energy body, and the physical body. So this light of the soul, this light of the spirit, we should say, passes through the causal body, the higher intellect, the mind, the energy body, and the physical body. And as it passes through each of these filters, this light is in some way lessened and distorted. So when we see a human being, rather than seeing the divine essence of that being, we see this uh, image which is the image which is created by whatever images are on these lenses as the light, as this Satchitananda, as this consciousness flows through them. Hmm? 